The Tower of Babel is now falling terribly as those who are working in the tower are no longer having peace at ease. The current deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa is coming out and throwing a very serious bombshell on those who are having fake certificate working in the government, speaking at the bombers of Kenya, where they were launching the government project on the third wage bill, have come out clearly and said that there are those who are working in the government having the fake certificate. I can agree with the current deputy president, but my question is, will they are they going to be serious on this move? This takes us to Mark Lawrence on whatever he's saying. Mark Lawrence is saying, memory is all we are, we are. Moments and feelings captured in amber, strong and filaments of reason. Take a man's memory and you take all of him. Chip away a memory at a time and you destroy him as surely as if you hammered nail after nail through his skull. McLaurin's King of Thorns. Let's take a look and listen to the Deputy President Bigadi Gashagwa issuing this bombshell today. Your Excellency, I cannot sit here and purport to give you advice, Lakini. This issue of fake certificates, I think is a quick win for us. I think it's a quick win, Your Excellency. If we make a decision to get rid of all the fellows and characters with fake certificates, Probably we could knock 10,000 people from the wage bill and recover a billion or two. <laughs> but Your Excellency, you give Barua Ningumu, Siju Utanzi Awapi Kosababu, Siju Nimutuigida Kiwesana Nai. It requires a decision at your level. And I don't know who will help you. you? Because. <laughs> heads of department, So, you have to make a decision. Na sijui nani atakusaidia. Maybe Musalia at Avesa because Nilmona ADD Pale Akisoma. Other women in the Pale. I believe you've listened to the current deputy president on his fake certificate speech. The question is what, why do you think Rigadiga Shagwa decided today to embarrass some of the government leaders? That is what we want to analyze. And it is its forces even President Trudeau to chip in on this move. But before I carry on with this analysis, ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much for your great support that you are offering to this channel. And to the new subscribers, I want to thank you for your great subscription. Please just do me a favor, consider to give this video a thumb of like as you border the same boat with the members. When you like this video, it is a kind of job offer you can offer to our channel. I want to appreciate you and may God bless you so much as it is my hope and prayer that this evening late analysis is going to find so well wherever you are. Let's proceed. The Gadi Ashagwa is trying to have a very serious move here. And there's somebody somewhere with the name <laughs> with the name Steve 
D. He mentioned, he tried to mention, I was just reading the comment. He mentioned Baba, Engineer Sudi, Gideon Moy, Sakaja, Kabogo, Waititu, ETC. <laughs> Those are the people he decided to mention. <laughs> For now, let's take a look and listen to whatever Aruto is saying. It's very interesting, ladies. I think we have now stabilized what we needed to stabilize. We will now confront the monster of corruption head on going forward. Whether it is in counties, whether it is in the national government, just imagine a simple audit of people working for government has revealed that we have 2,100 so far people with fake certificates working for government. And just a simple audit. And from this conference, Madam Chair, I hope we are going to add one more resolution on fake certificates. Those who have earned money using fake certificates should refund us our public money. Is indeed is indeed equivalent to obtaining by false pretense or something? Yes. You know? And those who are in government offices today with fake certificates, they should leave. They should resign and go away and look for money to pay us public resources that they have earned falsely. And, and that chain continues. That chain continues. Good people, we just must do what we must do. And for your information, I intend to do it. Yes. And I am ready to take the consequences. I am already Sakai so there is no problem. I, if the country is going to get where we want it to go, I don't mind names. Yeah, I don't mind names. So long as we get the country where it should go. So, um, I don't know whether I've answered your question, but that is my position. I know we have set a target of 2028, Madam Chair. I think it's doable earlier. I think we can do it earlier. Say is that some of the government state officials was shocked after Gadi Gashagwa had mentioned this move, this, 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 this speech on the fake certificate. And when you look at the first video of Gadi Gashagwa, the body movement of the current Nairobi governor, Mr. Johnson Sakaja, can tell you a lot that Sakaja crumbled and felt terribly on this move but on the other side it forced even president ruto to talk on this it means this was total embarrassment and it forces the current deep state or the current state uh, commander of defense forces to reply on this move as if that is not enough president ruto is also coming out and saying that more than 2,100 people working in the government are having fake certificate, yet they are receiving the government salary. On this today's analysis, we want to find out why do you think Gashagwa had this game of politics? Number one, I'm seeing these people want to remove some of the governors, MPs, MCS, who are having fake certificate. These people have wake, awaken from their sleeping slumber. They are now awake and they have realized that these are the people who are making problems day in, day out. Two days ago, we had, uh, two months ago, about the fake certificate of the current cabinet secretary of health, Madam Susanna Kumisha, 
So many people talked about it and we also analyzed it. But the big question here is that these people, they might be having a secret deal with the government. Again, as if that is not enough, what shocked me, and in fact I analyzed it, the man who was supposed to be the ambassador at the Congo, we recall Gidinji, was tongue-tied, could not explain himself to the intelligence people, to the parliament committee on the qualifi uh, certificate qualification, and so on and so on. So it means that these people are now hovering, distress, and no longer having peace among themselves. So today, Vigadi Gashagwa have decided, we call him truthful man, to expose them, to deconstruct them, and come out with a resolution. This move is very little, very interesting, very good on the other side of my observation. That is why we are seeing Gadi Gashagwa is coming out with this move. For now, we want to find the significant point on this uh, movement. Before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, if this might be your first time watching me at Zan Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you do me a favor, take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe to our channel, like this video, watch, share and give us your opinion. Now, the significance of this movement is that these people have begun to become serious and they are really working to ensure that those who are having certificate in the government let their certificate to be legit. Again, these people have sense that those who are fake, having fake certificate are no longer working, they cannot explain themselves and they are the ones creating a lot of problems to the government and to the people as well. So Rigadi Gashagwa is trying to raise alarm and telling those who are having fake certificate to prepare. But at the end, the big question here, are they going to arrest these people? Are they going to persecute these people and uh, expose them publicly to tell those who are, uh, if they, they had a, leg a legit certificate? Wajitokeze, hata kama ni D- hata kama ni eh, horror certificate degree sema tu ni yako ni yako hakuna mwenye atakunyang'anya There are some politicians who are truth like people like Ali Hassan Jo they said it publicly mimi nimepata hii ah mimi nilipata hii nyingine nini hata kina songo hawajawahi shikwa it is theirs Mimi pia nitajitokeza kama nitakuwa na wania rais ni seme hakuna ni mahali ya maisha but what is wrong is forging certificate forging degrees and so on and so on very wrong and I'm very much impressed with the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa on this move we hope the government is going to do a serious business on this and let's hope and see if the tower of babel is going to collapse and those who are working in this tower are going to be rendered speechless. Thank you and bye bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion.